Yo, yo, it's me, Sanitary here. So uh, hopefully I don't offend uh, anyone, but if I do, it's not on purpose. It's just uh, giving you my opinion. So I want to ask you guys and gals before I start, should uh, personal trainers, should overweight personal trainers, I should say, should overweight, out of shape, fat, whatever you want to call it, trainers, should they um, be able to train their clients now of course if you pass the test um, you're qualified and you can uh, train I mean if you go to a lot of gyms you might see some trainers you know that are not as in good shape they're training so from a technical legal standpoint of course they can train whoever they want but I want to ask you guys and gals do you think that's that's okay do you think it's right um, for me, it's a free country, so of course they're um, able to train whoever they want, and if the client wants to train with them, then that's completely fine. If As long as that person is motivating their client, I'm all for it. All about getting people motivated and whatnot. But that being said, I do feel like it's kind of hypocritical to be an overweight personal trainer training other people and telling them that this is the exercises that you have to do and you should be eating right and you should be doing this. Now, some trainers might not even go that far. They may just put you through a workout routine and call it a day. But if the client is going to ask you specifically about what types of foods to eat, this isn't to say that the person who's overweight doesn't have the knowledge they can't spit the knowledge and uh, share their knowledge with the person. It doesn't mean they're inaccurate, but it kind of, it's kind of, it is hypocritical, I should say. You're telling your clients to eat right, do this and do that, but by the same token, you're going home and you are kind of sloppy with your diet. So to me, that is kind of uh, demotivating. So I just want to get your guys and gals' opinion on that on the situation maybe you've experienced this um if you had a personal trainer and they were overweight would it deter you right off the bat or would you give them a shot like i said even if the trainer is overweight if that person is somehow creating a good connection with you and you feel comfortable with that person and they're pushing you i think i'm 100 percent for it i wouldn't disregard them completely but i just feel like for me at least, uh, even on being on this health and fitness channel, I, I feel like I may not be a role model, but I am somewhat of a public figure and I can't just be getting extremely sloppy and then trying to give my information to you. Because let's just be honest, if I put on all this weight and stuff, maybe you guys will still love me as a person, <laughs> maybe, maybe not, but if you start seeing me with the gut and stuff, that wouldn't be, that just doesn't mesh well, right, that just doesn't, that doesn't make sense, it doesn't make sense for me to be preaching to you about how to eat right, how to do this, how to do that, when I'm starting to let myself go, now life circumstances do occur, unfortunate circumstances do occur where um, you may fall off the wagon and I'm not holding that against anyone. I mean, it could happen to me, it could happen to you, but eventually, especially, especially if you're representing health and fitness and you're representing becoming a personal trainer, I think that you have somewhat of a obligation to stay in somewhat shape. I mean, I see some guys, they're just, they look sloppy. I'm just being a hundred percent truthful and honest. They're sloppy looking. It doesn't look like they even they even work out. Um, that's just that's just how it is. So I'm not trying to be judgmental, but I think that you got to play the part. If you have a role, you got to play the part. So uh, let me know your guys and gals' thoughts, and uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.